Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together they are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey guys, it's Claire. And today we are going to be making one of my childhood favorites, Sailor Moon. This costume holds a lot of nostalgia for me. So let's get started. So this is the costume I'm going to be making. It's sort of her classic sailor uniform. She's got a sort of one-piece dress that's all built around kind of a leotard, very tight-fitting, with a cute little sailor skirt, a little sailor collar, all kinds of cute little details. And then she's got some knee-high boots, elbow-length gloves, and finally her little hair bobble. So I'm going to be making all of that today. So the first element I'm going to start with is the base leotard that I'm going to build everything else off of. And for that, I am using this dance leotard. I got this on Amazon for $16. So I'm going to start with the sort of puffy sleeve rolls that she has, and I'm going to use some of this stretchy knit fabric. I just got this at a fabric store. This piece was about $2, and I'm going to stuff those with some polyfill. This is the stuff that you use to stuff stuffed animals or teddy bears to make them puffy. And this was about three bucks at the fabric store. So I'm going to start by tracing the shape of the sleeves onto this fabric because I'm gonna cut out an extra piece that matches the sleeve shape. So now what I'm going to do is sew these extra sleeve pieces on top of my original sleeve and I'm going to put the stuffing in between. So these are going to become the casing for the stuffing part. So I'm going to sew this, but if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't like to sew, you can also glue it, you could use an iron-on adhesive, you can do whatever works for you, but this is my preferred method. Now that I have the whole extra sleeve piece sewn down, you can see it's a little bit loose and that's because there's going to have stuffing inside. So I just need to make two lines of stitching going right down here so that it's separated into three sections where the stuffing can sit. So now the last thing left to do is put in the stuffing through this hole I left open at the bottom. Okay, so I have one section filled. Now I just have to do the other five. It's really just a matter of patience and time, making sure all that stuffing is kind of squished around in there so that it doesn't get big lumps. To close up these little channels, I'm gonna use some hot glue. I'm just gonna squeeze a little right inside there and then just pinch it shut. And there are my finished sleeves. So the next piece I'm going to make is this little hip roll. What even is that? I don't know, but I'm gonna make it. So Eleanor is going to help me out, but if you don't have a mannequin like Eleanor, you can put this on your own self or you can uh, have a friend help you out. And I'm going to use pretty much the same technique I used for the sleeves, just kind of make a tube and stuff it. Now that I have the hip roll made, uh, before I attach it, I want to attach the skirt. So for the skirt, I am using this glittery stretch knit. It was $7 for this piece. So now that I have my lines marked where my skirt's going to go, I'm just going to sew my skirt piece on. This is glamorous, glamorous cosplay life. I'm going to sew the skirt fabric on using a zigzag stitch so that the fabric can still stretch. And I'm gonna gather it a little bit as I sew it on. Okay, so there's the skirt sewn on. The last thing I have to do is stitch up this back seam. I'm just gonna sew that closed. So our skirt is now attached, and what I'm going to do now is cut it down because it's a little bit too long. So I have the skirt attached now, and the hip roll is just pinned on. So I want to attach this, but I'm only going to attach it at the very center front where the point is, and the rest of it is just going to sit in place because I want to be able to stretch it to get my body into it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The next step is to make her sailor collar, and for that, I have some blue cotton fabric, $2 for half a yard. I am using my trusty brown craft paper to make a pattern, and it is $5 for the roll. So now that Eleanor has a super awesome paper bib, I'm going to draw out the shape of my sailor collar and then I'll be able to use that to cut out the pattern. So you can see I now have two perfectly symmetrical 
cotton collar pieces. Next step is to sew them together. So just stitch it around the outside so you can still flip it inside out. It's hot glue time. And so what I'm going to do is fold it in a little bit so then I have a good fold to put the hot glue under. And I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard to press it down so I don't get hot glue burning my fingers. So here's my less than beautiful hot glued seam, but if I flip it over, ta-da! You wouldn't even know I didn't sew that. Hot glue to the rescue. So the next step is to add the white stripes, and for that I am using my bias tape. It's basically just a ribbon, and this is $3 for the package. Then I'm just gonna hot glue it on. Whoa, loading the glue gun. <laughs> So I'm just going to add a dot of glue right here at the neckline to hold this collar in place. And that's the only place it's going to be attached to the leotard so that it's super easy to get this on and off. Super cute. So as you can see, she's got a big bow on her chest here, here and she has another big bow on the back. So for those, I'm going to use this red cotton fabric. This was $3.99. This is basically just going to be cutting out a bunch of big rectangles. So I now have four rectangles. The smaller ones are for the front chest bow and the bigger ones for the back butt bow. Okay, so this is all glued together and now I'm going to flip it inside out. And there's the first piece of my front bow. I know it doesn't look like a bow right now, but once I go like this, we're gonna have a bow. So I'm going to make a little strip of fabric to wrap around and hold these guys together and we will have a completed bow. Right? Cute, isn't it? So now that we have most of our main body of the costume done, we are going to move on to the boots. <laughs> These don't look like the right boots at all. I salvaged these from an old costume. Sailor Moon's boots are knee high. They come to like a point at the top. So I am going to mark out on both of these boots where I want to cut them. All right, so these are all done and it is time for paint. So this is metallic red spray paint. It's about $6 a can and I'm going to use this to paint my boots. So these are dry, and now it's time to add the stripes to the tops of them. For that, I'm going to use some white tape. You could also paint them. You could use really anything, white fabric, but I thought the tape would be easiest. So I'm going to make the little crescent moon emblems that are going to go on the tops of her boots. So I'm just going to use a piece of yellow craft foam. You can get these in a package with a bunch of colors for about $5. And I'm also going to use a spool of thread. This is going to be my pattern for drawing the circles. All right, so I'm going to paint those with my gold metallic spray paint, $6 for the can. All right, now that the boots are done, it is time to move on to the gloves. I'm starting with a pair of gloves that I repurposed from an old costume. These are a little bit too long since hers stopped at the elbow, but I'm just gonna roll them down. And for the red puffy cuffs, I'm gonna use my cotton fabric again and my good old polyfill stuffing. So basically I'm making a rectangle out of the fabric and then stuffing it with the filling, kind of like a big fabric burrito, adding a little glue to the edge and rolling the whole thing up like a sushi roll. So this is a really easy no-sew method for making those puffy tubes that you can use for the sleeves, the waist, or the gloves. So I'm just sealing up the ends of my tubes with glue so it doesn't look ugly. I'll cover up these ends with another piece of fabric. And there we go. Now I'm going to make her little hair bobbles, whatever those things are. And for that, I am using, once again, my trusty craft foam, all from the same pack. I'm also using a spray paint can and a rubber cement can as my circle templates. To 
To make my little hair bobbles look very anime shiny, I'm gonna paint some shinies on them with some acrylic paint. This is about $3. Okay, so my hair bobbles are done, and I'm just going to attach these to my wig, which uh, I got online for about $30. It came pre-styled with these ponytails and the buns. I did a little extra styling and curled the bangs and the little side pieces myself. Kind of hit or miss when you buy these pre-styled wigs online, but this one turned out to be pretty okay. So I'm gonna use some more craft foam for the tiara and the rest of the details. To make her earrings, I'm going to sandwich a couple of my crescent moons with one of these eye pins that I can use to dangle them from some earrings. And these are $3. So I'm just going to give them a coat of metallic gold. So for the finishing touch on my accessory pieces, I am going to use some rhinestones. These are $4 at the craft store. Okay, so I'm just going to attach some elastic to my tiara so that it can go around my head like a headband. I had this, but you can get this at the craft store for $2. So to make her little choker necklace, I am going to use a strip of my red fabric. And that's the whole thing finished. All that's left now is to try it all on. And I'm gonna start with the leotard. All right, not bad. Let's put on the rest of the costume. All right, so this costume is all done. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I can't wait to go show the squad. All right, it's time to see Claire's Sailor Moon. Are That's you ready right. for this? I can't wait, let's check it Here out. Here she comes. Oh. All right, that is amazing. It's like a cartoon. It's wow, crazy. yeah, I love these that look like a cartoon come to life. Yeah. So awesome. It's like these little pieces here just turn it into like an anime. It's so great. <laughs> Wonder Woman boots? Yes, the Wonder Woman boots. Very Not awesome. Not the most comfortable or Crazy. practical for crime fighting. There's also like uh, kind of a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man vibe I'm getting. Yeah, like yeah. Shoulders. <laughs> you're getting that. These are very cool. I just, I kind of want to bite them actually. Yeah. Right? I could just take a nap on my shoulder. Yeah. How much did you end up spending on this? So the costume itself, uh, about $50. And then the wig was 30. Uh, let's go make, make our own now, right? I know, yeah. I know what I'm gonna make Dustin for his birthday. Well, you guys can be the other Sailor Scouts. Okay. Oh, okay you can be yeah. Sailor Jupiter and you can be Sailor Venus. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe for more Costume Squad goodness. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have Ben. Predator. Predator. Ooh, predator. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, Please leave us a comment down below if you have any ideas for costumes you wanna see us take on next. See you next time, guys. All, All right. right. Costume Squad. Anime, Anime Pose. Pose. <laughs> Did we do the same one? <laughs> <laughs>